She has had over a million streams on her new song. I'm excited to introduce you to Danny Taylor. Hey, Danny. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you today? <laughs> I'm yes, doing great. Too. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So where are you? I know you're in your car, but where yeah. are you? Um, I am... I have to go to a tech shop for, I'm watching my parents' ranch right now, and I have to go get some horse supplies and horse feed. So yes, I am in the parking lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, so you're a little bit of a cowgirl then? A little bit, yes. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> do you do any, what kind of riding do you do? Um, I've learned English and Western, but I don't do oh, any cool. fancy, uh, anything fancy. <laughs> do you do it just, just for fun? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I really, yeah. I really do enjoy it when it's not a hundred plus degrees out though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. So, and, and you're in Nashville, correct? So I'm actually in Arizona right now. Um, I'm here oh, for you're in week. Arizona. Yeah. My parents are at but a wedding. You live so. it. Yes, but I you live, live in Nashville, Nashville right? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, you know, here you are uh, doing the country music thing. I found you on TikTok. You've got this great new song called Table for One. And um, I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, so <laughs> tell me, tell me about, so this is your own original song. You wrote it, yes. uh, performed it and everything. So tell me yep. about your song, your songwriting process and kind of how this song came about. Yeah. So this song was after, after a little situationship breakup and, um, <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> didn't go very well. And I try to be as positive as possible in my music. So I, it's funny enough, the hook actually came from an Instagram caption. So I saw somebody's oh. Instagram caption and it was in my hook book for a really long time. And it wasn't until I had this situationship and breakup, um, did I write the song <laughs> and, um, yeah, and that's officially table for one drinking for two. So Th it's done that pretty well. Absolutely yeah. perfect. So, <laughs> so tell me about the hook. I want to hear about the hook book. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, every songwriter in Nashville has a hookbook. It's just anything that comes up in conversation or just randomly thinking about things or something you watch on TV that sounds good and you just write it down in a, your little songwriting idea book. And it's called The Hook Book. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that idea. It's kind of like you're just your journal you, you kind of carry mm -hmm. with you. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> now, do you collaborate and uh, write songs with others or are you just doing it on your own for now? Um, no, I, I collaborate with others. I actually wrote Table for One, Drinking for Two with uh, Will Rambo and Cherie Austin. Oh, awesome. Yep. Very good. Very good. So now you're, you're into the country. How did you get into country music? Were you raised on country? I was not raised on country music. Um, I was actually raised <laughs> okay. on a variety of things. Um, Celtic music, classical, um, Spanish guitar, um, a bunch of like 90s alternative rock. Um reggae my dad loves reggae so if you pull up bob, <laughs> bob marley i will know every single lyric without trying and <laughs> all the melodies i can't stomach it anymore <laughs> it gets old <laughs> after awesome. your 100th like car ride out in the desert um listening to bob marley on repeat um and yeah i never listened to country music i listened to a little a little bit in high school, I went to um, a private school in Michigan for four years, and Michigan does have a really big country um, fan base, but I mostly listened to pop, EDM, and, and rap music when I was in high school, and I did listen to a, a few country songs. Um, and growing up, I did listen to, like, the Dixie Chicks and Carrie Underwood, but I wasn't really, like, you know, into country. It wasn't my thing until after a breakup in college. And, um, <laughs> I discovered Patsy Cline. And so, and I just went down the rabbit uh, hole. So that is how I got yeah. into country music. <laughs> you know, you have a bad breakup and country music to the rescue is really yeah. what, what yeah. it's all about. Right. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, so Patsy Cline being, um, one of the main influences I'm guessing, uh, early on, who are your other like current uh, country music influences? Um, gosh, there's so many artists right now too. Um, you know, early on, well, in the middle, I guess Bailey Bryan, before she officially 
kind of moved over to pop music. She was a really big influence of mine. She still is. I love her music, um, pop and country. Um, I love Casey Musgraves' Golden Hour. I really love that EP a lot. Um, and those are, they kind of influenced me definitely um, to try to find interesting hooks and something that makes you go, oh, oh, okay, you know. Um, they definitely influenced me yep. to try to find good melodies and interesting hooks. So it's kind of that, it's like, oh, I get it. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Oh, yeah. that's good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> so if you could open for any country star, who would you open for? Big dreams right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Probably Carrie Underwood. That's like a childhood dream of mine. <laughs> I, I think there's a lot of girls that would like yeah. to open for Carrie Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, so now I found you on TikTok. Uh, how's, how's the TikTok experience going for you? Um, it has its up and ups and downs for sure. Um, <laughs> the algorithm is a little different and doesn't make a lot of sense. And it seems to be constantly changing. Um, but I kind of created a little plan for the summer um, to really try to go at it. And I'm hoping it works. <laughs> Wish me luck. And, uh, but it does seem to do well. I, I put, I just, it's funny. It's always the videos that you don't spend time on that do the best. And I took 30 yeah. seconds to make a video <laughs> for my song, Midnight Cowgirl, just asking um, people with horses. Because at the time I didn't have access to a horse. And I said, I just asked people to ride their horse to my song and it has almost like a thousand videos now and that's um, awesome yeah yeah power that is of so TikTok. cool i love what well, oh yeah it is the power of tiktok i mean honestly yeah um, so, you, so your song uh table for one drinking for two uh we're gonna take a look at the video right now so you guys can hear what she's talking about and you guys are gonna love this song Qualified for loving you You let me down, boy But I got up again Now I'm flying high In that funky little bar I met you in At a table for one But I'm drinking for two I'm a couple margaritas In with my single again Attitude I'm a more fun me
Okay, I love that video. Were, was it real alcohol in all the drinks? No, no. I wouldn't no. have been able to last more than like five minutes. I'm such a lightweight. That was a lot of drinks. Yes. That was a lot of drinks. Well, it's supposed so to, how the, long... the idea of it was supposed to, me switching the outfits, it was just to like showcase, uh, this is every Friday or Saturday night, um, me right. going out on my own, not just in one night, <laughs> obviously. So. <laughs> that would be a very dangerous night. Yes. <laughs> How long did it take you guys to film the video? Uh, probably, I think it was about six hours. Um, it took, I mean, it was really hard for the crew to, um, you know, go the perfect speed because there, it was like tracks laying, laid around a uh, table that I was sitting at that just goes around in a mm. circle. Um, and cool. they had to push it. So it was a lot about timing. And then making sure like the server was in and out and all the people that were in and out of it came in at the right times. So that was really, that wow. was really hard to do, <laughs> but we got the hang of that's, it. And then, yeah. That's awesome. It's a great video. I love it. So um, we're talking about, talking about drinking. Uh, as you may know, I'm here in wine country and we drink a lot of wine out here. So do mm -hmm. you, do you like wine? Do you drink wine? Oh, I do. I do. I don't like reds, which is funny because that's oh, all my parents like drink. Okay. Um, I used to really <laughs> like, um sweet wines but recently my taste buds have been changing um i don't like dry i like i guess it's called full body i think is it like full okay. body um i don't know Do you i like chardonnay you like a chardon no, good chardonnay i think chardonnays are i like no pinot chardonnay Gris pinot grigios are kind of pinot like Grigio. yeah what i've been going after or just like um there's one wine that i really like right now it's called orvieto and i think that's like oh, a okay. mix it's it's a cheap wine but it's it's easy. It goes with everything. Okay, good. I found a fellow wine drinker. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I support the wine industry in a big way out here, like really, really big. <laughs> we, get, we get a fair amount of drinking out here. Uh, so I got, I got you know, a couple more questions for you. Uh, what is the most useless talent that you have? Oh my gosh, my useless talent? <laughs> I don't believe there's such thing as useless talent. Um, I've never, I don't know. I don't have anything random or weird that I can do. Um, I guess <laughs> what's useless now, I can do darkroom photography. <laughs> that's kind oh, of useless. That's cool. It's like an old trade, <laughs> but I, I learned that in high school. I took darkroom photography for like three years. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's like old school. Yeah, old school. it's old school and now useless. So, yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nobody has a darkroom anymore. It used to be like the big dream. Oh, I've got a darkroom in my house. Yeah. Uh, my don't need a dark room, room anymore. Room number 13. I used to spend all my time there in the winters. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's awesome. So what is next for you, my dear? What's, uh, what's happening? What do you, what do you got planned? Um, I have another single coming out. It's actually in the mix right now. I was hoping to get it back today, but I'm assuming I'll get it back next week. And then hopefully, um, if everything goes right, it will be out in July. Just hoping. And, do, <laughs> and I have and a little... Do we, do we know the name? Oh, yes. It's called Strangers Again. I actually have a little sneak peek of the oh. demo um, up on my TikTok, so... Okay, there you go. You're going to have to go follow Danny Taylor on TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny, I want to thank you so much for taking the time. I'm going to let you get to the to the feed <laughs> store there, make sure the horses are happy. Yes. <laughs> uh, and and I'll, uh, I'll see you next, probably on TikTok. Yes, yes. <laughs> and thank you so much for having me today. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching Couch Air Country. I'm Sue Bonzel. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and like and subscribe. And of course, if you have an up and coming country artist that you would love for me to interview, please let me know in the comments.